working on uh, Qt and the, the core part of Qt is an absolute fantastic experience. Uh, constantly really thinking about how I can improve the project. Qt Lighthouse work. Uh, for Qt 5 it's obviously been modified and extended. Also the Qt Whaler module is a new uh, module in Qt 5. It's a multi-process uh, windowing system. Uh, it fully replaces the uh, QWS windowing system we had for Qt4 and Qt3. It also extends uh, the possibility of adding uh, OpenGL to uh, such systems. When we made Lighthouse, we made a decision that we did not want to have a, a client-server relationship. We wanted Qt to uh, only care about painting into surfaces. We looked around in the community and Right about that time, uh, uh, Whalen was getting a lot of traction. The Whalen approach is uh, radically different. It explains a lot more what's going to be sent from, uh, from the client to the server and back. In, uh, in QWS, this communication pattern grew generically. And uh, it was never defined anywhere, it just uh, happened in the C++ code. In Whalen, uh, the communication is defined in uh, an XML file, which makes it easy to understand uh, what the client can send to the server and also what the client can expect to receive from the server. Qt5 targets modern hardware much more efficiently than the old Qt4 did. Most applications should be much more efficient out of the box. For Qt5, I'm very proud of being part of the Qt platform abstraction team. Uh, we've uh, accomplished to create an abstraction that enables you to target almost any winnowing system and uh, a lot of different devices uh, with one uh, single abstraction interface. For me, the most exciting thing about Qt5 is that we've built a foundation so that we will be able to live with our archi architecture for a long time. New systems will come this being new winnowing systems and new hardware. And with the current architecture, we will be able to adapt to these new systems very easily. This, to my knowledge, is completely unique compared to other toolkits.